Wondering how you can tell if a guy is flirting with you over text? Want to know how you can respond to his texting efforts to keep the flirtation going? I've got eight signs he's flirting with you over text coming up right now. Hey guys, I'm dating and relationship coach Ryan Patrick. Today, I want to dive into how men go about flirting with you over text and how to distinguish flirting from guys who just want sex or just want to hook up. Now, guys that craft flirty texts to you really have to muster every ounce of their emotional intelligence to do this effectively with you. Because they have to convey a very specific tone while at the same time coming off funny and not sounding cheesy or cliche. So you guys are getting a healthy dose of male psychology on this one, and you know I'm all about talking psychology with dating men on this channel. But first, if you're new to the channel, or maybe you've seen a couple of my videos before and wouldn't mind helping me get my content circulated more on YouTube via the YouTube algorithm, please subscribe below and make sure to turn on all notifications so you never miss one of my weekly Monday videos. Boom, thank you very much, now let's get it. So I'm gonna touch on eight types of flirty texts he sends, and don't worry, these will be subtle and less obvious ones. I'll also discuss what's going through his mind when he sends you these texts, and then and finally, I'll give you a suggestion on what you can send back to him to show him that his texts are well received and he should definitely keep it up. So here are the eight texting signs he's flirting with you. The first sign is he asks questions and gives multiple choice. So obviously when a guy asks you questions about yourself, it's a great sign. But the creative fun guy will take it a little further. If he's on a fact-finding mission about you, he may put together a list of choices that showcase his intellect and show you he's a fun guy. This may be something like, what night are we going out next? A, Tuesday, B, Thursday, or C, Saturday. Or your perfect night out is blank. A, a quiet dinner, B, a show, or C, clubbing. Now, if you like this guy, just text him back the answer that best suits you. If you don't respond, he'll probably think that you don't like the way he's flirting with you, so just be aware of that. The second sign is he loosely connects you to parts of his day. This requires a little history with a guy who already knows a few things about you. So maybe you guys have been on a few dates already and now he's just initiating a new text conversation with you. He might text something like, I just passed the crepery and thought of you. Since he knows you love crepes from your trip to Paris he knows about. So with this one, he wants you to know he's been listening to you. So you can send him something back that shows that you appreciate the gesture by sending something like, that's amazing or delicious. The third sign is, he sends call and response type texts. Now call and response is rooted in African culture involving people responding to a leader in public gatherings, but in musical form. A guy is essentially trying to recruit your participation in a little game of his by calling on you in hopes that you'll respond. This could be something like him rattling off a lyric from a group that you guys both like, and him wanting you to text the lyric that comes immediately after the one that he sent you. This could also be something like him just wanting you to fill in the blank somewhere, so just play along. He's trying to show you that he's creative and that you are worth his efforts. The fourth sign is his stories are punchy and humorous. Let's face it, not everyone's a great storyteller, especially when someone's relegated to doing it over text. A guy might try to catch you up on a funny story about a trip he just took or an interview he just had. He'll only tell you the story if he knows it has a funny ending or that you would appreciate it. And it's a way for him to make you smile and a way for him to self-disclose details about himself to you. Now, if you like this guy and appreciate his effort in him trying to tell you this story, ask him some questions about it or simply say, that's hilarious. Either way, it makes it all worth it for him to have sent you this story. The fifth sign is his emoji use is measured and on point. As I've mentioned in another video, guys tend to be really careful with excessive emoji use with people that they like. He'll stay away from the more goofy emojis, but will selectively and sparingly use the expressive ones. Ones that show confidence because that's what he's secretly trying to convey to you. Now as he becomes more comfortable with you, you may start to see his emoji use steadily increase. So if you notice him doing this more and more with you and you like him, just increase your frequency of emoji use to match his. If you don't like him, don't send emojis to him ever at all. The sixth sign is his sexting game strikes a good balance with you. 
The flirty guy will tactfully send you texts that hints that he wants to get physical with you, but that will never be his main agenda. He wants you to know he's sexually attracted to you, but he's not going in for the score right away. He's just warming things up a bit. You might get something like, headed to bed? Wish I could be your pajamas. I keep you warm all night. Nothing over the top gross, but almost sweet in a lot of ways. To be playful, you could send something back like, well, my PJs are doing a pretty good job right now, but maybe one of these nights. Wink. As you can see, a good balance. The seventh sign is he engages in playful self-deprecation. One way guys choose to flirt with you is to take the focus off you completely and playfully put themselves down to make it like they're not worthy of you. He has to be careful when he deploys this flirting tactic though, because if he does too much of it, he's just gonna come off as insincere or trying too hard. He might send you something like, I was thinking about asking you on a date, but then I thought maybe she you wouldn't want to be seen with someone who dresses like a Bible salesman. A little bit is fun, a lot not so much. To respond positively to something like this, if you like him, you could send something like, I love the Bible, or I lost my Bible, but you could totally sell me one on our date. See how this works? The eighth sign is his pet name for you is well thought out. Forget about those pet names that require zero thought from guys like Gorgeous or Sunshine. Don't fall for that crap. Instead, if he selects something for you that's tied directly to an attribute of yours, for example, if he knows that you're working on your first novel and he refers to you as Jane Austen, if he calls you one of these common nicknames you've heard a million times before, he's not doing this right. It has to be a name that's endearing and unique to you. Also, if he's smart, he's subtly going to be trying to gauge whether or not you like that name he gave you. Now, to respond to our example, text him back a Jane Austen quote and see how fast it takes him to ask you, did you search for that on Google? When it comes to flirting over text, guys who do it effectively will do it because they've been listening to you and have been invested in your conversations with them. We always take a risk when we try and flirt over text because of tone and how things can get lost in translation. So if you like the guy, simply make the effort in kind and text him back. Do this with a little flirting of your own and reverse engineer some of the signs we just discussed. Now, quick question for you guys. Have any of you thought about maybe working with me one-on-one? -on -one? What if you could have a coach in a pocket and you could text me anytime you want about a guy that you're on a date with. Would that be helpful to you? Now I've got a way for us to do that. I've got some exciting offerings in my upcoming boyfriend course that include offerings just like this. To learn more about the Coach in the Pocket and my step-by-step -step video course on landing amazing boyfriends, simply go to daterboy.com reminder. Enrollment is opening up for a limited time very soon, so sign up to get an email notification when the course opens. Guys, if you found this video helpful, please give it a like below. Really appreciate you guys stopping by today. I'll see you next week.